after looking at the results from 40,000 real world users. We do have a subset of users who are not clinically depressed that see benefits in sleep, mood, uh, and concentration and focus. Flow is a wearable treatment for depression that uses mild electrical stimulation to treat the root cause of disease. Over 80% of our users see full remission from their symptoms in about three weeks. Our co-founders were actually psychiatrists by training, and what they saw was the limitations of drugs for many patients who are struggling for depression. So it really came from an undergraduate research project evaluation of this technology, which has actually been around for a while, and then a desire to build something that was really accessible and affordable and safe enough for home use. I think what we're finding is that we're getting smarter about dosage, how frequently someone should use the technology, for how long they should use the technology. We're also getting really a lot better about identifying the right users. But as a teaser, we do have a second generation device that's coming out, and we have come a long way in overall uh, effectiveness and response rates. After looking at the results from 40,000 real world users, we do have a subset of users who are not clinically depressed that see benefits in sleep, mood, uh, and concentration and focus. So I think we will, you will see expansion into that area. So when we look at depressed brains, what you'll see is in an area, your left dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, you often see lower activity in that region. So we use a very mild electrical current to target that region and nudge those neurons back to activity. So we're increasing activity in a low activity region and that reduces depressive symptoms. Healthcare providers understand the limitations of drugs, right? They do work for about 30% of folks, but that leaves 70% of people who don't respond. What they've lacked though is something that's accessible and affordable as an alternative. So I think what we first hear is show me the science, prove to me that this isn't, you know, woo woo. And then I think when they see the results, both in our trials, but also in the real world from their own patients, the device kind of speaks for itself. And so they've been far more open-minded than we anticipated. We're sort of saying, you know, can we raise the baseline on what people should expect from a treatment, no side effect, and a greater level of effectiveness. And, and again, ultimately this comes down to choice. If drugs work for you, great. But for those that they don't work, they deserve, you know, they deserve an alternative. I think what we are seeing is an expansion of people who add this to an existing antidepressant. And over time, I think we're getting to a place where people are like, well, why would we wait for everything to fail? Why don't we start here? So I think you will see in the next few years this come to a frontline treatment for depression. Today, treatment's really one size fits all. If they don't work for you, you're called treatment resistant rather than sort of talking about the limitations of drugs. I think we're gonna see highly personalized treatments. I think that'll be everything from wearable at home, highly personalized stimulation. I think going as far as the implants, which we're already seeing. So I really do think you'll see a massive ecosystem here and we hope to be a big part of that.